Okay, we're going to measure some current. Here we have a parallel circuit. And this is a, a pretty simple parallel circuit. You can see we have power coming from our, our power tap up at the top, through the fuse, through the switch, and then here it's going to split. There's two different paths. Okay, one goes through this bulb, which is like a, like a marker light bulb. The other one goes through this bulb, which would be like a tail light bulb. And then they both come back to ground. So this part of the circuit and this part of the circuit are the two parallel branches, or two parallel legs of this parallel circuit. If we're measuring current in a parallel circuit, there are some uh, things that we have to consider. First of all, we've got two different bulbs here that have two different resistances. And so the amount of current that will flow through each one of these two bulbs is going to vary. So it won't be the same. With a series circuit, we can measure the current anywhere in the circuit, and it will be the same. But in a parallel circuit, the, the total current is going to be equal to the sum of each individual leg or each individual branch of the circuit. So let's measure it and see what it looks like. Now we've got our meter up here. We're going to turn it on to the 10 amp scale. And we always just go with the 10 amp scale. We're not going to worry about measuring anything in milliamps because generally speaking, when you're using an ammeter like this for this kind of simple practice, um, the 10 amp scale is going to be just fine. If we start measuring things using milliamps, we're likely to blow a fuse in the meter. So we turn, have our meter turned to the 10 amp scale. We have to move our leads over. So we pull the red lead out of that, the, the, the hole for measuring voltage, and we're going to put it over here into the slot for 10 amps. Okay. Now we'll, let's turn the circuit on. And you can see the bulbs are definitely different. One's a lot brighter than the other one. Generally speaking, this one over here, because it's brighter, is probably going to be flowing a lot more current than this one over here that is, that is more dim. This one would have less resistance than this one would have if we were to measure with an ohm meter. But anyway, let's look at the current flowing through the small, the, the branch of the circuit for the small bulb. So we're going to hook the meter up in series, okay? We're hooking the meter up in series with this leg of our parallel circuit. That means we have to actually disconnect part of this branch of the circuit. Now we could disconnect here, we can disconnect here, or we can disconnect here. All right, it's all going to be the same. We're going to just disconnect here, and then we will measure the current. So, red lead hooked up to the wire we unplugged, the black lead is hooked up to the spot where we unplugged it, and we look back up here and we have about, about uh, a quarter of an amp. So 0.26 amps flowing through this part of the circuit. All right, so remember that number. Let's come over here to our other branch in our parallel circuit, and let's hook up our meter here. Okay. Over here through the bright bulb, we have two amps. All right. We have two amps because we have less resistance. There's less resistance in that, that brighter bulb. More current can flow. The bulb illuminates more brightly. So two amps, roughly, versus a quarter amp, roughly, from the small bulb. So now, let's see what our total current is for the whole entire circuit. Now to do that, we need to move upstream. We need to move up to a part of the circuit where all of the current that flows through either one of the, the branches will be, will be found flowing together. So we can do that just about anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect right here at this junction. And we will hook up one lead there like that. And then our other lead will hook up there like that. And we look back here and we see we have about 2.3 amps. 2.29, 2.3. So we had a little tiny bit over two amps from the big bulb, a little tiny bit over a quarter amp from the, um, the small bulb, and measured together we have a little bit over two and a quarter amps. So you can see that the, the total, or the sum of our, our current from the, the two branches equals the total current for the entire circuit. So that's measuring current in a parallel circuit. You have to measure both branches, or all branches. You could have 
five different branches here, but you'd want to measure all branches separately and then add them together and that would give you your, your total current for the entire circuit.